All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to SOTT Basic. I'm your instructor today, Hammering Hutch. You guys can simply just call me Hutch. When we are suppressing an enemy target, the whole intent of this is to keep the enemy's head down so an adjacent unit can maneuver onto them. During this process, we have a thing that happens automatically and organically, whether it be with buddy teams or fire teams. The whole intent is to ensure there's no lull in the gunfire, thus talking guns. Open fire. Contact front. Alpha, bound. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. Bravo, bound. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. All right, Bravo set. Alpha, up. He sees me. I'm down. You're now in what is known as a file. You're now in what is known as a staggered column and usually used when on patrol or when moving from one location to another where contact is imminent. And these are a few of the basic formations that we use during squad ops. The SOTT Advanced Weapon Systems course was created to ensure squad ops participants share the same knowledge and understanding of the use and applications of mission-specific weapons and the basic tactics involved in their deployment. The Automatic Rifleman. The Automatic Rifleman is the foundation of a fire team and or squad. The job of the Automatic Rifleman is to deliver a high volume of prolonged, effective, suppressing fire on enemy positions to allow the maneuver of friendly units during offensive operations and the repelling of enemy attacks in defensive operations. The Grenadier, a key member of the fire team and squad, the Grenadier is first and foremost a rifleman who is capable of delivering accurate fire of both high explosive and smoke rounds on point and area targets at varying distances. One of the other added benefits of the Grenadier to engage dead space, which is essentially an area that cannot be hit by direct fires. The light anti-tank gunner. Soldiers carrying light anti-tank weapons are, just as grenadiers, riflemen first. They are the ideal infantry-based counter to both lightly armored and thin-skinned vehicles. At short, medium, and far distances, the rockets fired are a viable weapon against groups of infantry as well. The SOTT Advanced Weapon Systems course, although not a requirement, is highly encouraged for squad ops participants to join to expand their knowledge of how to utilize the tools that are given to us within squad.
Hey, everybody. Welcome. It is July 12th, and we are about to do some squad ops. You're listening to CMYK Matter. I'm here with my buddy, Google Trex. How's it going, Google? It's going good. How are you doing? Uh, doing well, man. Doing well. We're pretty excited. We're out here. We're going to be running Operation Arrowhead tonight. And Operation Arrowhead takes place on the wonderful map of Yehorivka. If we take a look around here, it's a pretty sunny dawn. Looking pretty damn awesome. I'm excited. This map always gets me excited. This is actually one of the first maps that I played whenever I got into squad the first time. I popped in to, I forget what random server in Yehu Rivka was on. And it has been one of my favorites ever since. I love it. It's a beautiful one. Beautiful one. Tonight, Operation Arrowhead. We're going to be pitting the Russians against the militia. It's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, we're just currently getting everybody rolled into the server, getting everyone set up. Oh, yeah, people are starting to join. Pretty exciting. We're going to get everyone filling up these squads. We'll get them all briefed, and then we'll be going into it. Google, how's the militia side looking? They they looking like they're going to have a good time over there? Oh, yeah. It looks like they picked uh, storage site tonight for their defense location. And it sounds Fantastic. like they've got a really great plan for defending. Um, see how it goes, and we'll hear more about it during their brief. Absolutely, but they seem to have a good one, good, good briefing going amongst themselves. Fantastic. So the good news is that since we're getting a little bit of time to talk about what's going on in this, we can talk a little bit more about Squad Ops and what it is. Squad Ops is a community that runs one life events in the game Squad. And if you don't know what that means by one life, that means if you get shot and you go down on the ground when you're dead, you cannot be revived. You can't be picked up. You got to give up. You switch into admin cam and you watch the rest of it. We also have a couple of restrictions as far as no running across the top of walls like you're a parkour expert, no craziness like that. We just want to make sure that this is one of the more realistic experiences that you can get. And all these guys that come in, they know the rules. They've heard them over and over again, and they all agree to them before we come in here. We're very serious about enforcing them, and we want to make sure that everyone has a very realistic and authentic experience in this One Life event. Pretty good stuff. I love it. Google, you've been around here for a bit now. You uh, you had any of those crazy moments where you're just sitting there thinking like you're going to shit your pants? I know I've had them. <laughs> you know, I don't usually end up... Uh being around at the end so i've never had a <laughs> experience but i've certainly had some intense ones especially on a defense point like uh, militia is going to be doing tonight where you have people attacking from all angles and oh, things yeah. get really crazy and the one life aspect of it really and gives you that adrenaline rush when when you yep. don't really know whether you're going to be shot soon or any of those normal things you don't have to consider when you can respawn it really Absolutely. makes things tense you uh, you haven't had any of those crazy OD tap killing six people with a pistol in one room moments? <laughs> no, definitely not. Seen them happen. A lot of fun to watch. Oh, man. So crazy. No, I'm, I'm more of an average or below average gamer. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling, especially uh, whenever I'm squad leading. I feel like I have a giant target on my head every time I peek up over something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That antenna especially makes you a target, huh? Absolutely. Uh, but while we've got a little bit of time before we get in here, let's go ahead and go over a little bit of what this operation is about. So, let's see if we can get that going. All right. Operation Arrowhead. It is a fight between the Russians and the militia. The militia, you can see, you get two ARs, one lat, one scout, and one medic. The Russians get two ARs, one LAT, one GL, one Medic. And you can see the breakdown of the vehicles there. It's going to be a pretty interesting map to see how these vehicles play out. That SPG Techie is one of my favorites. I always enjoy that one. That thing is fast. It's quick. It can take out, you know, an MTLB or a BTR real, real easily. So we're out here on Yu Rivka. The militia have to set up and defend a fob in one location. They get three locations to choose from, and they can pick whatever one that they want, set up there, and then the Russians have to find that location, 
kill anyone inside there, route out all of the resistance, and then destroy the FOB radio. So it's pretty cool stuff. I really enjoy this operation. It's a nice big old map, and there's a lot of people on it, and a lot of vehicles, and just the type of fighting that takes place, it transitions from these big, giant open fields into these tight corridors in the actual buildings. So it's pretty neat. I'm excited about those. So while we've got a little bit of time, let's also go ahead and go over our commands and as well as their capable squad leads. So on my side, we're going to be starting out with Russia and they will then transition later on. But for the first round, it's going to be Russia. So our command is none other than the wonderful Karma Cut. And then he's got his squad leads under him. Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, Jack Reynolds, and Xbit. All very experienced squad leaders. And actually, Karma Cut is starting to get them ready for a briefing here. So before we switch over and see what the militia has going on, let's see if we can get in here and listen to what Karma has to say. Get everybody shuffled around. And once we get them in position, we'll listen to Karma Cut's briefing on how the Russians are going to attack. Make sure he has all of his men organized. Get them all squared away. Now, the Russians have no idea where okay. this FOB location is, so they're just oh, going to be sweeping. All right, here we go. Guys, get in your fire team line. It's fine. Just give him comms. One tap, get down. All right, give me comms. All right, welcome to Operation Arrowhead. This is a militia versus Russia engagement. Uh, our job as militia forces, or as Russia forces, excuse me, is to find the enemy militia F uh, FOB. Once we find their FOB, FOB can be located in one of three locations, at Stepney, at North, uh, Upper Novo, or at Storage, marked by the following. Our job is to proceed as a platoon, sweep and clear, making sure that we find the enemy FOB and destroy it. It can be at one of these three locations. We'll be sweeping east to west. Our assets are as follows. We get two times ARs per squad, one time lap per squad, one time L per squad, one times medic per squad, two times BTR 80s, and one times APC and SVT for the platoon. Squad assets are divvied up as uh, determined. Squad one is taking one times BTR 80. That's vehicle one. Squad two is taking uh, the vehicle three, which is the second BTR 80. And squad three will be manning and driving the MTLB, also known as vehicle two. All right. Yeah, vehicle two. So that's vehicle one, two, three in the column. BTR one, followed by the MTLB, followed by BTR two or vehicle um, three. Copy. Squad lead one is in the front vehicle. Squad lead two is in the um, is in the second BTR, and squad lead three is in the uh, MTLB with squad four infantry loaded. Squad one, all squads, one, two, three, operating as mechanized infantry, BTRs, and MTLBs to be used as base of fire assets and suppressing assets. I do not want to see those vehicles roll past the infantry at any point in time throughout this engagement. BTRs will remain behind the, uh, the infantry, suppressing targets, allowing the infantry to push forward. Squad four, operating as a standard infantry squad. We'll be proceeding down this MSR north to south in a standard column. Vehicle, led by vehicle one, two, and then three. Once again, that's BTR one, followed by the uh, the MTLB, followed by BTR two. Once we reach our stop point marked by the MG mark on the map, vehicle one will hold. Vehicle two will distance 50 uh, meters out, hold, and vehicle three, 50 meters uh, behind vehicle two will hold. So we have 50 meter spacing between the squads. At that point in time, all squads will dismount. Form a platoon line from squad one, two, three, going south to north on a platoon line facing west. Squad four at the rear of the formation with the platoon lead. We'll proceed westbound online until we have a PID on the enemy FOB. If we don't have a PID, we're pushing through, clearing, mounting up on the other side, pushing the secondary point at upper. Uh, and then we'll proceed as, as standard. Infantry will dismount, 50 meters spacing between squads, platoon line, squad four in the rear. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, Karma, for the most eastern FOB, can they be anywhere in that complex or just the southern part? It's the, uh, it's around that area. You're going to see it. It's going to be Hesco's. Wherever it is, it's going to be very obvious. You're going to see Hesco's and uh, sandbags and emplacements and infantry. 
Enemy assets are as follows. They get two times ARs, one lat, one scout, one medic per squad. So watch out for mines and IED. They also get one times SPG truck, uh, two times APC and SVTs, two times mortars and one times logi, two times HMG and placements. So vehicle drivers, be on, head on a swivel for those uh, flanking APC as well as the SPG truck. Also careful as we proceed westbound for mines on the ground. Um, does anyone else have any questions? One question. Did you say we are remounting to every checkpoint, or are we going to stay dismounted after the first dismount? A firm from Sepney to Upper Novo, as soon as we push through the objective, through it, not to it, but through it, we will remount on the other side of the objective, proceed on a vehicle line uh, to Upper Novo for about 100, 200 meters, dismount once again, get back on platoon line, push through South Novo. Copy. Good copy. Okay. So hey, nothing have any is going to go hunt. Yeah, I've got one. Nothing so is nothing going is going to go. Hey, we're sticking as logic. a okay. yeah, All right. You just heard Karma Cut giving his briefing. A lot of good stuff there. It looks like they are going to be planning to do a sweeping motion where they start on the east, work their way through Upper Novo, and then finally end with storage. And as we know, the militia there have chosen storage for their defense google how are they setting up over there are they starting to get into their briefing yes yeah, looks like nasty nate is making sure his squad leads are getting their guys ready absolutely should be Good ready stuff. very shortly here all right where do you want them all right hopefully we can listen in on nasty nate's briefing here shortly and we'll find out what he has planned for defense man yeho rivka I feel like I talk about this map a lot every time that I come into it, but I just have such a soft spot for it because it has these these giant open grassy fields that you can prone and crawl through, and pretty much nobody can see you as you're crawling through. I know we've had times where guys walk right by other guys just laying down in these fields, and then you get the tight fighting in the villages. You get that crazy stuff in side the actual storage site where it's almost like urban combat with multiple layers and people. Uh, it's so cool. Yeah, but, all right. Well, Looks I'm like on, yeah, I'm militia I'm might be know, starting their briefing here soon. Are they getting ready, getting everybody in there? Yeah, they're getting everybody lined up here. And Nasty Nate looks like he's just about ready, standing on his command spool ready. here. Two lines, Very cool. About ready let's, to start telling them what the plan is. Let's get in there and listen to him when we can. Turner, hold up behind me. Just your forehead. We're not doing fire team line. Whenever you're ready, Nate. I'm ready. Yeah, Nate, you weren't transmitting there, by the way. No, I can't hear you, Nate. Not in the local. I'll be. Yeah, I think your mic's muted. Nate, Nate, is your mic working? Can anybody else hear him? Uh, Negative, I don't hear you. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got hear now. But, can you hear me in local? Say it again. No, we cannot nope, hear you in local. Hear you in local. <laughs> Nate, we can't hear you. Oh Nate. my god. Yeah, we're well, not happening. Happen it happened to me uh, an off ago. Just gotta re reconnect. Yeah, it happened to XBit last off too. Me? Hey, right, <laughs> command will be right back. <laughs> command down. We'll be right back. Command will be back after these brief <laughs> messages. He had arcade. He, had arcade. he probably didn't pay uh, his ISP. All right. So sadly, it looks like Nasty Nate was having some issues with his microphone over there but he's gonna yeah. pop out try to get that corrected and then get himself back in we'll see what the issue was there hopefully nothing too crazy that'll delay the start too much did it seem like it was mostly his kind of yeah. lag his, that... his command comms were working fine but he wasn't able to speak in local comms ah, so okay. hopefully that's fixed well. here in just a second all right hopefully that'll get fixed so let's uh, spend a little bit of time until he gets himself back together talking about the vehicles that the Russians get out here. I'm, I always love seeing these vehicles. We've got two BTR-80s, and if you don't know about those, they're both mounted up with a nice big 
NSVT gun. These things can pack an absolute punch. I really like the NSVTs. They're not quite as powerful as the KPV, but they're quite a fast vehicle for as armored as they are. They've got a lot of offensive capabilities. They can take down technicals very quickly. They can put a lot of hurt on infantry. And as fast as their rate of fire is, they do a hell of a lot of damage to inf infantry. These BTRs, they're one of the coolest vehicles out there, and I love seeing them get actually used in ops. It's not too often that we actually get a chance to use the BTR just due to how powerful it is. But, man, what a wonderful piece of machinery that the Russians get to use here. Fantastic. So is Nate getting set back up over there, Google? Yeah, he is trying. It turns out he didn't drop a rally for himself before doing so. Oh. So he's looks like he might have somebody try and pick him up in a vehicle. Ooh, Absolutely. We'll That's figure amazing. out how he's going to do that. Yeah. They dropped rallies for everybody else, and he spaced on the fact that he would need a way back here himself. <laughs> Should have dropped that uh, hab before he left. <laughs> All right. Actually, we didn't go over the command and squad lead structure for the militia side, did we? No, we didn't, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so here, over here on the militia side, for this round, we have the command of Nasty Nate, the one trying to get back to his platoon here. And for his SLs tonight, the very capable SLs he has tonight are Krusty the Sailor, CG Fu, Sightless, and Truth Realm. Wow. Wonderful guys. Those guys are all absolutely experienced, and I don't think that Nate's going to have too much of a problem. I know Nate himself is pretty new to commanding. I think this will probably be the third op that I've seen him command. So he's still getting used to it all, but he does some really great work with it. Yeah, it seems so far I've played with him two of his three times this will be the first one i didn't and he really likes to, to to go for the the simple surefire way of of doing things he i know karma cut often likes to try some extravagant tactics and they work sometimes and sometimes they don't but i think nasty nate really likes his tried and true methods you know there's something to be said for that you know keeping it simple so that your guys know exactly what to do at any time mm -hmm, for sure makes it a lot a lot less difficult to know the whole plan absolutely so let's uh while we got a little bit of time we're gonna go over the camera list so obviously you'll see myself and google tracks flying around up here giving you the admin cam stuff so since it'll be absolutely cool to see our view but the real guys who make it really interesting are the guys on the ground the boots on the ground and they give you those wonderful first person cameras so we'll go over those who we have tonight we've got my man, my usual broadcast partner, Muff. Uh, I miss him dearly, but, you know, he wanted to get in there and play tonight, so I'm happy to see him in there. I hope he does well. Hopefully we'll get some, some Muff cam somewhere in there. I love me some... Uh, I love me some one taps from Muff. He does some really good stuff from there. Uh, after that, we have got the wonderful X-Bit. He's one of the squad leads on Karma... Com Karma's, yeah, I almost called him Karma Command. <laughs> He's one of the squad leads on Karma's side. It's After that, yeah, Karma Command, it works. <laughs> it's like Cobra Commander, but Karma Commander. <laughs> oh, man. After that, we've got the Silver Man, guy who has been in a lot of ops up to this point. I've seen him in pretty much all of them that we cast. He's always around. Big Yes, another very familiar name, somebody who we see all the time. It's Crispy. He's a little bit newer to me. I don't know him as well, but, you know, I've seen him in quite a few ops at this point. Good guy, very friendly. And we've got Shadowed Ritual, another one of the squad leads on Karma Command. And finally, last but not least, Jay Remick. One of my one of my buds. He's one of those good dudes that you can just hang out with all the time, real friendly guy. But we'll see all their perspectives as we're going through the night, and hopefully they have some interesting stuff. So, yeah, well, what's going on with Nasty it Nate? It like there? Nasty Nate may not have local comms, and they decided to have the squad leads break it out 
to each uh, okay. individual squad. So they'll each squad will know what they're doing, but they may not know the whole the whole picture tonight as Nasty Nate was unable to give them a platoon brief. All right. Well, we've got a live time. That live time is 118, so that gives us about a minute and 15 seconds until we get back in there. Unfortunate that Militia is not going to have their local brief from their command, but the capable squad leads will absolutely be able to get it done. I have I have no doubt of that. They can definitely understand what needs to happen. And if command chat's working, then that's the best thing that can be working for a squad lead if, or for a commander. If you're... Uh, if you're going to pick one, I would rather have command chat than local. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. That distance just makes a huge difference. Absolutely. So we can see everybody getting ready there. You got Jay Remick on your screen sitting in that BTR, getting ready to take off. And we are live in about 30 seconds, checking out Shadowed Ritual, mounted up, getting ready. Everybody getting ready to roll out. You hear those engines start up, and now we are finally going to get into the operation a lot of delays tonight but what you gonna do we can only get it rolling as fast as we can but everybody is now up to speed and we are going to be getting in there oh man i'm excited i'm excited operation arrowhead is one of those really really cool ops and it looks like we are live yes we are we are rolling out oh yeah so you can see the MTLB and the BTR rolling out here. And just as Karma said, they are going to be working on trying to get through these points from an east to west uh, kind of shift. So they're going to start with this eastern point and then move themselves west. So we'll see how that goes for them. I think ultimately it's a good plan. It's just, you know, how well they execute while they're going through these buildings. And so tonight, how are the militia over there? Yeah, It looks like they're locking down sectors within the storage site. So that might oh, be, okay. I can only speculate on the plan, but that might be how they had it divvied up. One squad picks a building or a sector, and they are fortifying. It looks like Krusty the Sailor here might be in control of their vehicles tonight. This MTLB NSVT, it looks like they're trying to create a little bit of defenses here with uh, sandbags. And Very cool. Sandbags. V9 just released. And oh, yeah. V96. V96. Yep. V9.6, rather. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And the regular riflemen so now have the sandbags they can deploy deploy throughout a location. Doesn't matter if it's within fob range or not. That can be a really invaluable thing, I think, tonight in this new, in this op for the defending militia theory. Absolutely. If you have. Oh, and that's another thing to talk about. The fobs themselves actually do not i mean you don't actually have to take any resources from the fob whenever you drop those riflemen sandbags it doesn't actually do anything to the fob or the resources there so that's pretty neat i like that i think that's a good little addition it allows everybody to kind of have some sort of protection on demand which i really like to see yeah absolutely that that just makes things and uh, that gives the uh gives the riflemen who are normally kind of a vanilla class a little bit more utility throughout the battlefield as well i think that'll create a lot of fun situations on squad ops and on vanilla absolutely all right so you can see there the fob that they've dropped down that's the communication equipment that they have to keep protected the FOB, it stands for Forward Operating Base, and it basically just allows the building of various different deployables. You can build sandbags, HESCOs, ammo crates, all those different things. And the FOB itself needs to be defended in this situation. So if they do manage to take down that FOB, they're going to have that at least in their back pocket whenever they get through. So that'll be good to see. See if they can take down that FOB. You can see here on the Russian side, Dermaplast, Silent Death, Mardost, Evan SMA starting to push through into Stepney here. It seems like these guys are going to be a little bit of an early reconnaissance team. They're being put into place by Karma Cut so that they can hopefully get early eyes on any sort of 
emplacements or things that would be built here. They know that if they start seeing different emplacements, then that's probably where the fob location is going to be. So that's all they would hopefully need to see to, in order to call that in. But if we take a look at the map here, you can see there on the middle right side, the red castle and the red lodgy truck that you're seeing there. That is actually where the militia have set up in the blue guys there on the right hand side. That's where the Russians are currently. So it's going to be a little bit till they push in. Karma had a very organized plan where he wanted to push through Stepney. Then he wanted to push through Upper Novo. And then he wanted to finally cut through storage site at the end. So he's doing this east to west push. So it's going to be a little bit of time before they get over there. And see X bit there on your screen, just shoving through the field. Looks like Truth Realm has taken up a position here on the north. He's pretty far away from the rest of the rest of the platoon here, but it looks like he's going to be the kind of the outer defense here. Looks like they're all in one building here. Don't know how that's going to work for sight lines, but Truth Realm being experienced. Squad lead here knows what he's doing, so he may have a plan for that. That's the hope, anyway. You would hope he's not just dropping stuff for the hell of it, right? <laughs> you would hope. Yeah, and the rest of the militia team swarming all over this storage site here. Get restless cool. on the site, probably, as they wait for the attack. They don't know when it's coming. I know Absolutely. I get restless during defense. Defense situations are one of those. You're just sitting there. And you're trying to see, like, are they coming now? Are they coming now? Are they coming now? And you just wait, and you wait, and you wait. And then whenever it finally breaks loose, then you you get some action. But while you're sitting there, you get kind of antsy. You get a little jumpy. You're worried if you're watching all of your corners, if the guy next to you is watching everything for you. Oh, man. It's pretty crazy. Defense is one of those crazy things, you know. You wouldn't think it would be as intense as it is because you're sitting there waiting. But... Those waiting moments really get you. Karma yeah. Cut here, just waiting behind, speaking of waiting, waiting behind his MTLB. Jack Reynolds and Game Master Me are mounted up in that. And they're just trying to get some eyes out on Stepney, make sure that all of their guys, make sure that there's no contact in Stepney. Karma Cut just made the call that he wants everybody to go ahead and remount up in their vehicles, and they are going to start pushing out on Upper Novo. So it looks like they are getting ready in order to pull out. So that'll be good to see. Hopefully, I mean, they, they took their time to check out Stepney, and when they ran into no contact, they have to know. They have to know that there is no contact there. Yeah, it looks like they have plenty of time because of Karma Cut's strategy here of pushing each point, and he happens to be pushing theirs last. This Logi is going to have a chance here on Militia. They're going to have a chance to run plenty of Logi runs, get lots of defenses and emplacements up. And it's especially important this time in V9.6 because the FOB radios no longer have a ticker supply where they gain points over seconds. So having that that Logi supply come in is imperative to their defense strategy. That is a completely new feature for this. You know, you used to have that ticker. I feel like it was one supply every second or something, something like that. that effect, yeah. And now no ticker. So the only way that you get supply is if you make sure that you're running those Logis. And I know for a couple guys out there that are kind of our dedicated Logi men, they, they like doing the Logi runs. This is just... A wonderful patch for them because they now get to be the Logi guy, right? <laughs> exactly. Whoever has it, whoever has one. Yeah, it looks like the Muff Bandit here, normally in here commentating for you guys, gets to pick up his lat kit and be boots on the ground tonight, sitting by this <laughs> MTLB. And the new feature with the sandbags being blown up, it looks like whoever put these down thought about this new feature where explosions will destroy sandbags and they have created like this double layer defense in front of the, the main vehicle basically leaving That's the gun smart. yeah absolutely so they're not going to blow the whole thing up at once it gives the vehicle a chance to either kill its attacker or get out of there 
That is very smart. I like that. And yeah, actually, Hyper <laughs> Hyper Evo saying that they need to make an absolutely counter whenever I'm casting. I feel like that's definitely a thing. Yeah. I know I say it a lot while you guys get to enjoy it. <laughs> it's one of those things, one of those voice tendencies, one of those speech tendencies that you can't get rid of. So we can see here the BTR shoving across the field. A lot of guys mounted up in it. The other BTR and MTLB sitting back behind and they're just going to try to shove across this field push their way on upper novo they're actually moving off to the southeast a little bit away from upper novo i think that they will come around and probably try to hook in from the south they know that assaulting upper novo from the direction that they would normally be coming from maine might not be a great idea they might think that they're going to run into the full brunt of the militia forces if they head straight from the direction that they would normally come from Maine, which is north. So they've decided to do a little loop around. It'll take them some extra time, but it might give them an element of surprise if there were people on Upper Novo. Currently, I believe Big Yes is kind of the only guy over there. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like Big Yes is out here. Is he the scout no, kid? It looks like he might be. Yep, yeah, it looks like he is. And yeah, he's up here on Upper Novo just all by himself. Trying to give advance warning to to his command, probably. Go on for a different point. Yeah, just That's actually a great idea, though. Get the guy with the scout kit, send him out there to Upper Novo in case people are coming through. Just have him hang out in the building, get quiet, get low, and wait until he sees somebody. If he sees somebody, then you he's going to you know, take him out. Anyway. Take Absolutely. And it looks or like call him out, at least. Call him out, at least. That's a, Information's always valuable. Yeah, it looks like he may have put a mine up here on this intersection just north of Upper Novo, expecting that northern approach that you said Karma has decided to go around so that mine may not get a chance to see use. Too much action, yeah. That's pretty smart then, you know? You think about that. Oh, you know, if they're on Upper Novo, they probably plan for us coming in from the north. Actually, I just heard Karma Cut here say not too long ago make sure you don't get hit by a mine make sure you don't get hit by a mine it's one of those things that you really have to think about whenever there are scout kits on the field and tonight we have four scout kits on the field with each of the squads so that's a lot of ieds and mines that can be in place oh yeah and it looks like the majority of them here if you look at my my map here you have one, two, you have three separate mines and or IEDs. As of right now, there's no way to tell the difference, but they have them deployed all over the point here, possibly to use as defensive vehicles or with that IED on a wall, possibly to get enemies off that wall. It's good stuff, you know. Plant the IED along a wall if the enemy's pushing up beside it, you blow it and then they're not going to have a good day. Those IEDs are still pretty deadly. They got a little bit of a nerf, but they are still pretty deadly. And we can see here the Russian forces now pushing along south on this road, coming towards Lower Novo. And it looks like they're going to push in towards Upper Novo from either the south or southeast direction. But if we can get the lodges and fuck yeah. Talking about us... A squad ops drinking game. <laughs> shot for a grenade kill. Shot for a vehicle kill. Oh, man. Shot for a one-tap from Muff. That would be a good one. Everybody has to take a sip whenever I drop an absolutely bomb. Fantastic. So the BTR has dismounted their guys. You can see Tedis, Shattered Ritual, Part-Time Ninja Turtle, Moritz, Kids, Lucid, Immune Style. They have all popped out of this BTR, and they are going to start moving northwest to get eyes on Upper Novo, see if they can see those. See those Negative emplacements right that the militia might have built. Direction. Shadowed Ritual pushing up through these woods here, running along the road. He's got his binos out, and he says, you know, they could be in the trees, they could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, those binos are a big reason why I like to play as squad lead. It's uh, information. It helps a lot. 
being able to Absolutely. see that extra distance. That or recently, I used to only play medic, and now I picked up the optics. Ah, uh, yeah. I understand now why we do not use the optics in our ops. <laughs> they and are give, very strong. Yeah, give it to somebody who knows how to use it, and that could that could that could definitely end end some yep. news off real quick. So it looks like the Russian forces have now spread themselves out, and Karma just made the call to push off. Everybody's going to be stepping off and starting the move. Look at this line that the Russians have formed. Look at this. Oh, man. Jack's clear over here on the east. One tap, tap, smartos, Evan. Look at this line. Oh, man. I love it. Karma calling it out. Look at the battle spacing on these guys. See, this is what I love to see. Good battle spacing because it keeps you safe. If somebody gets blown up by an IED, it's only going to take up one guy. If somebody gets hit by a grenade, it's only going to take up one guy. Zoom in here on the map, and you can see this battle spacing. Look at all of the distance between each one of them, making sure that they are not going to take out the guy next to them if they are the target. Also... This big line formation, if one of them takes contact somewhere in there, they can stop, they can pivot around that location, flank it, attack it from multiple angles, get good lines of fire down. This is a beautiful line formation that Karma Cut has laid out here. Love it. I can see that from my cam here, all the names lined up, and that looks great. And I'm following Big Yes here. He doesn't know the surprise he's in for if he manages to run into that line. Oh, yeah, he's on he's the getting... western side of the village, isn't he? Yeah, he's pushing east. It looks like he's trying to get sight lines there. But he's not going to come in sight just yet. Awesome. Magic Man, you were asking if we have uh, much of a delay on this. No, we are pretty much live. It's all of five to six seconds, something like that, between when this is happening okay, and so when it's actually brought to you. The reason that we do that, everybody here is here for the experience. All of our guys come in for that one life experience, and they want to know that the guy next to them is here for just that same intensity. So nobody really wants to kind of ruin that experience. Oh, wow. We can see here. Big yes. Getting real close to these guys. Yep, it looks like they're crossing here just to his northeast. They're pushing toward that objective point, so it's a little bit away from Big Yes, but he is just so close. Oh, man. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like as they hit terrain, the, that line is starting to to break up just a little bit, but they are still well-spaced. They, they have actually point. broken it into two lines that they're pushing across. You can see that they've broken this out. They're starting to flow through buildings here on the south, and there's that line reinforcing them on the north side. And then they've got a secondary reinforcement line here and a tertiary line back here so they can stack contact. That's really cool to see. They can use these units and kind of move them through these buildings. For sure. Well, it looks like big yes now within, like, basically – Contact distance is what we call this, where he is close enough he could take an accurate shot and down somebody if he chose to, but that would probably be a mistake for him at this point. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, big yes here in the bushes. Probably can hear the vehicle movement now. Shadowed Ritual, his squad here just, they're the ones who are flowing through these buildings here in Upper Novo. And we'll see. Moritz Kids is just going to be on the other side of the fence from him, just across the road. Look at this. He's going to pass right by him. That bush, the big yes bush. Look at him. He's a bush wookie right now. He's just hanging out there. <laughs> yeah. What an absolute bush ninja. Wow. Lucid and Moritz Kids walk right by him. Immune style, though. Uh oh. Immune style pushing up here. Yeah, and we'll part-time Ninja it. Turtle just to his east. Immune-style like walks right by. Yeah, he's pushing away. 
I mean, if you think you have to check every bush, you yeah. would take forever to finish the game. So mm -hmm. he's lucky he has a place to hide. The only people I think left yeah, might run into him here is part-time Ninja Turtle. Or the... Mm -hmm. Part-time Ninja Turtle Trip pushed off now. Yeah. So you can see immune style right here in the front of your camera. And big yes in the back. Big yes peeking up over that edge there. If he makes too much movement, they're going to hear him. He's moving up the road now. Oh, he's hiding in those bushes. He might have just laid through their entire squad that moved through here. You know, I'm reminded yeah. of... I am reminded of that scene in behind or was it behind enemy lines where he's just laying there and everybody's pushing past him oh man i think it was yeah that was a, that was a crazy movie to think oh about. my part-time yes. ninja turtle is looking right at him and he can't see him big yes stands up he's peeking they don't see him they move right on past he oh, like stood two up ships even in the night oh <laughs> That is beautiful. Big yes, he's going to be safe there. I think they know where we're at. They seem like they're freaking out a little bit. They're checking all around. They're making sure that there's nobody around. That is so crazy. I cannot believe this. Shattered Ritual, his squad has pushed right past Big Yes, so that, that scout, effective. Yeah, and I haven't heard anything on command comps to indicate Big Yes has called out a full platoon. Oh, wow. Has he called so, out the squad, at least? I'm I'm unsure about that, because it doesn't sound like it over command comms, which is all I can hear. Big Yes has nothing to say in local gotcha, comms gotcha. right now. Yeah. Wow. Big wonderful. Yes just... Yeah. I'm not sure if he didn't notice. I can't imagine he didn't notice. He had to have heard all those people around him. Just staying sneaky, staying low. Somebody asking if this is a dev speaking. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm CMYK Matter, my buddy here, Google Trex. Uh, we are just members of the Squad Ops community. Google Trex is an admin. I'm a staff member. And we are just here doing, doing the broadcast because we love it. That's why. You might have that right. dev voice there, Matter. Oh, the dev voice. Mm. <laughs> Smooth dead voice. <laughs> yeah, looks like Absolutely. <laughs> Big Yes has found himself completely behind the Russians. Oh, part time. Oh, part time maybe? Ninja Turtle tripped as immune style pushing back now. There's a dog barking somewhere in the map. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I heard Karma say Just over command comms that. The They've cleared it, yes, but he wants it sterile. He wants them to absolutely clear every building. Part-time Ninja Turtle goes down to Big Yes! Big Yes didn't take a hit. One down, and they are probably freaking out now. Yep, Shattered Ritual just said that we got contact close in this village. We got contact close. Immune-style Triptes hiding out in the bush. Oh, man. Is there anybody else around to support them? Looks like they're by themselves from my point of view here. Big Yes just poked his head out and took down Part-Time Ninja Turtle. That is unfortunate for Part-Time Ninja Turtle. He's the first to go down on this op, actually. Unclear if he's down. Magic Man asking, what is Squad Ops? Squad Ops, we are a community that hosts One Life events in the game squad. We set up specialized kind of objectives and things that they need to do on various maps and then we go and we make them happen on locked servers where everybody agrees to play with certain rules in place you can check us out at squadops.gg there box boy just dropping the link thanks for that man do appreciate it that's not where we are we're in a no that's the objective shadowed is pulling his squad back trying to get them in close you can see them on your screen there trying to get those guys in so that they can clear through these buildings and make sure that they actually have everything sterile right now big yes just chilling in that building we'll see what happens with this immune style trip des just holding here 
They're not really sure where that contact came from. That's another thing that we do. Whenever somebody goes down, you can't speak anymore. So if you're dead, you can't talk to anybody. You can't tell them where you got shot from. You can't do anything. Oh, part-time Ninja Turtle. Ripperonis in peace, bro. I, I'm so sad for you. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah, here on here on the militia side, they seem like they might know. They're starting to orient toward the west there, toward the east, rather. Seems like they might know now where where the enemy's coming from. I can see just in the distance that enemy line still pushing across. Nasty Nate running around. Had his binox out here on the roof just recently, so he may be... He may know... He may know something, looks like. Big Jimmy HD and Cool Breeze here pushing in with his BTR. Rolling by Big Yes. Trying to spot him. They don't really know where he is. They just know that he's somewhere in this compound. And they have actually found the SPG Techie like parked here. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. That is the SPG Techie parked right here. They found it. Oh, shots go out. Big Yes puts in some shots at more Eats kids. Immune style heard those. I wish I had a mortar right now. Yeah. I already we need a place of mortar. mortar. They just there. called out. Oh! oh. <laughs> I know, I know. I Tedish not taking any risks. He just puts a frag rocket in on top of Big Yes's face and says, Good night, man. <laughs> good night. Have a good one. Tedish says, Sit down. <laughs> I'm done with you. Drops him like a sack of potatoes, blows up the SPG-9 techie, and that is the end of that. Oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> Tedish was not going to screw around with him. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Big yes, successfully caught that with his face, though. I can give that to him. That's beautiful. <laughs> looks like they had plenty of time here on storage site to build all sorts of defenses if if the russian forces have to push in which they do have to push in but if they have to fight in these corridors they might not might not be able to make it through all of this this is a very extensive defense to the radio barbed wire everywhere sandbags on all the windows and at least a squad probably two by the time they take contact just Push, just holding up in this building as the enemy push. Oh, and mortars are going out. They're starting to mortar locations. Good. Good. They, That's what I was hoping to see. Yep. They, they saw that. They saw Let's big see yes if we can down. find where those go. Yeah. They know yeah, where Big that... Yes went down, so. See if we can find where they come in. I... Oh! They dropped it right on Shadowed Ritual's head! They killed Shadowed Ritual! A mortar just landed right on Shadowed Ritual's head. Oh, and the... You can uh, see him there dead. Oh, my. That is a squad lead down. The MTLB taking a hit. It is taking fire. It is on fire. s -Klein trying to back out of there. Oh, and he oh, just bails. No. He bails, and he gets down. Oh, he got back in, and he's going to try and get it out of there and save it for another time. Yeah, it looks like those sandbags didn't do any good against non-explosive fire. Yeah, sandbags, they're not going to stay as defense much for a while. <laughs> looks like they're able to see the enemy now on the hillside there. The NSVT taking out one person. I didn't see who managed oh, to take wow. somebody out before. Karma Cut pushing across the field in the open. He's taking shots. Tracer rounds coming in on him. Let's see if he can make it. He's got shots coming in. Oh, Karma. Oh, Karma. Is he going to hit the wall? Command goes down right now. That would be a bad day for the Russians. You need a good yeah. command comm in order to get people in. He gets shot. He's bleeding. He's taking shots from the right. Legit gamer. Laying down some fire. He goes... He goes prone, and he's bandaging himself up. He's alive for now. Yeah, Shots so coming back in on Legit Gamer. Thurman goes down, takes out Evan SMA with him. Oh, wow. This little push. That's a... 
That was a ballsy push. I'm not gonna lie. That was a ballsy push. Yeah, it looks like Truth Realm small advanced squad here. Maybe a fire team size element of four guys. First contact. Never mind, I'm probably gonna bleed out. It looks like fi fire team on fire team size element here. One tap man up against Truth Realm with his fire team. The Russians are pushing in on the east side of this storage site compound. Karma Cut Command pushing across the wall here. Trying to get back up with his guys. See if he can get some good engagements as he's trying to push in. Funnily enough, Nasty Nate, the militia command there in the background of your screen. Karma Cut and Nasty Nate in the same shot here. Both commands not that far from each other. J. Remick in that BTR driving, trying to get his gunner into good position so that he can take some shots in on this compound. We'll see what they're able to accomplish. Got local comm saying they hear footsteps. It looks like this whole Russian platoon up against the east side wall of this building where the radio is. You know, if they get close enough, they might even be able to hear it. Absolutely. The yeah. fob is placed in that building, right? Yeah, it's in that building, and I just put my cam right about where they're at, and you can hear it from them. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can hear those radio sounds. If you haven't played Squad, you can hear those radio sounds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whip Dab Kill Me. Whip Dab Kill Me is a scout. He is putting an IED right on the wall right outside of here. If he can get it down quick enough, he can get some kills. It looks like he's going to miss the timing. He's missing the opportunity. They're pushing. Nope, nope, nope. No, he's pulling back. Karma Cut's pushing up. That's command. Is that... They're going to touch it off. Is that going to oh, get him? No. It might. It could get him through the wall. He placed it right on the corner. Oh, and he just missed his opportunity. He needed just to too late. That. He needed to detonate that a lot sooner. That can penetrate through walls. And it did not... Yeah, that is unfortunate. Expit smoking up the entrance before they push in. They're getting ready. You can see Expit on the lead here, peeks the corner, lays down some fire. Lots of guys up in that building straight to his west. The vehicles open up. You can hear that NSVT just ripping through the building. Yep. Oh, and shots coming in. Fulcrum. Yeah, oh, man. Those accurate GLs damage oh! the guys up in that window. You know they're taking some grenades back, though. Bird person goes down to a grenade. Exmit gets hit and starts bleeding. They're putting in smokes and frags now, and they're going to try to make this their push. The BTR is... Re oh, no, this is the Logi truck. Saloon number 12 is coming in with the Logi truck. Real bad time for you to come in, Saloon. What are you doing? Oh, no, he's hiding underneath it now. Look at all the fire. Look at all the gunfire coming in on Saloon. Oh. <laughs> he's just hiding there. He's bleeding. They know that there's still somebody up there. He's taking shots, and down he goes. More eats kids or immune oh. style. Command himself taking shots back at Expit squad here. The entire pl Russian platoon. Oh, there's oh! An IED. <laughs> Nuke Dukem and Lucas go down to it. Two with the IED. That was worthwhile. Only two. Yeah, and Nasty Nate here getting right in on the action. I like to see that. I like a command that wants to be up there and knowing what's going on with his guys. Karma Cut, same position as well. He is actually pushed up on this west side, and he's getting everybody ready to make a push in. They're putting fire up on the second story. Some frags go in, doesn't kill anybody, but damages Fulcrum, gets them down to bleeding. Yeah, Karma Cut on this west side, southwest side building here. It's crispy, fulcrum, solid snake, and the others in the building. And it looks like the breach him. is on. Michael Frost pushing up right on Nasty Nate here. They're close. Mortars! More eats just are, hitting south. And X is uh, about to be peaked by X and more eats kids here. Oh, and Nate in. Oh, that nade just barely misses Crispy. 
Oh, and he goes down anyway. Xbit or Mori's kids there taking him down. You know, Nasty Nate got pushed up here on this corner. I can't remember who it was that pushed him, but he took some shots and managed to down him through the smoke, only bleeding, and Nasty Nate Command runs away, gets through. This western building, though. Yeah, it's being invaded really quick. That aggressive, aggressive push. Expert goes down. There. That's another squad lead down. Nathan goes down as well. Miyamoto here. Jack Reynolds and Game Master Me pushing right up on the wall. Laying in shots with that. That BTR. That's an MTLB, actually. Yeah. MTLB. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! A frag round just came in and killed three. It took down Slinger, Pronix, Bevlon. It damages Fallen Panzer. It kills Rival Helicopter to Bleeding. Oh, Karma Cut just watched four of his guys go down to a well-placed frag round. Who even did that? Hard to, hard to say. They all pulled back out of that room. That attack and retreat strategy taking down a lot of guys. Though. Wow. That was a great frag round. Mortar's starting to rain in on the south, and that has crippled the Russian offense there. There's still a lot of guys in this western building, but all we can see oh. now... They're opening up. Is that the MTLB? Yeah, the MTLB is hurting. Yep. Gary Jew Manning, the gun on the MTLB, can't see that BCR. Or he's not returning fire here. Okay, yeah. Taps, I need you. Or actually, Jax. He must yeah, not be BCR able to see it. Reloading. Oh, and here he goes. Oh, there goes Gary Jew down with the MTLB. The BTR now laying in fire. Yeah, where's the Muff Bandit? He's got that lat kit. He could do some work there. Uh, we've got a yep. Oh, Muff going oh. down, unfortunately. That's sad. Yeah, he did. That's sad. He was down a little bit earlier, apparently. I was hoping to see him. I was hoping to see him. I was like, where's my boy? Where is yeah. he? <laughs> yeah, he loves that lat kit. He loves just he trying does. those he does. crazy shots. He's, he's done it to he's success, good at him. success as well, yeah. So, what's going on right now? Let's get you a little recap, turn off some of these cams around. Basically, the Russians have pushed in on the western side. The blue guys on your screen are the Russians, and they have pushed in on this western side of storage site. The FOB radio is in the second floor of the L-shaped building in the middle of your screen right now. You can see that thing sitting there. The Russians have pushed in, and now the militia have inflicted a lot of casualties, and they are now just pulling back. They do still have a BTR off to the west here, the Russians do, and they also have an MTLB to the south that they are working with. But for now, they're trying to push in with infantry and getting everybody into place. Just heard Karma saying he wants them to keep up pressure. And this BTR has now pushed in. Clo oh, an IED touches off, doesn't get anybody, though. Unfortunate. They just almost IED'd me, but I got out just in time. Yeah, sure. I heard no shit, man. It didn't, so it didn't go off. It didn't go off. Silverman pushing through the center of this building here. You can see him on his screen. Shots coming in just above him. They take down Agalok, which was his friend up above him there. Agalok going down, unfortunately. Oh, a good tap. I'm not sure who that was from. I think that was Ram. Ram or Captain Foley, one of those guys peeked out and just put in a really good tap on Gonzo the Gonzo. Ram putting in shots. He takes down another. Whiplash and Dagos up in there. A lot of guys on the south side of this. Oh, oh the MTLB BCR. taking shots. Yep. There it goes. He took him down. Best Pony and Jay Remick. That's a clever place to put that thing with S. Klein here, backing it off from earlier when he took shots, putting Great it into placement. cover. Yeah, he, with that gun, he can cover the uh, entire courtyard here. Makes it really great place for them to push it across. So Tedish here has pushed up to this corner, and Tedish is actually a lat. He was going to see if he could get shots in on that MTLB. The MTLB laying in fire on the BTR. The BTR taking shots. Big Jimmy HD and Cool Breeze 
taking some shots from that MTLB. And they're pushing it right back in the same position, taking more shots. They're trying to trade with it, see what they can do. Yeah, Sloth Bacon, oh, that was the BTR. Man. Silver Man taking down more Eats kids in this building. The only other option besides running across the courtyard for the Russian is to get across this sky bridge here. To get across the sky bridge and get into this building. Oh, it looks like... Actually, no, I'm wrong there. It doesn't go into this building, but no, that would no, be a great way to one flank. North of it. Yeah, but it goes to the one just north of the building, but that still would right, be a great flank for them to again. pull off and get eyes on some of the other assets. Yeah. Oh, a frag round goes in up top. Doesn't manage to kill. You hear those mortars that went out earlier now raining in. They walked them out as they threw them out. And the first ones were close, but after that, oh, more shots coming in. A frag round goes wide. Aimed at Krusty the Sailor there. <laughs> One of the Krusty says, uh, I'm not going to go down to that. Yep, putting he, shots he... back. That was one BTR that went down, yes. There are two BTRs for the Russian team. One of them went down. Krusty oh, actually Krusty's... gets hit. He's bleeding. Yep. He's freaking out here, thinking he's going to bleed out. Just barely saved himself with a bandage there. Yeah, Ram just feet away from him, uh, just on the other side of the wall here. Yeah, no direct access for Ram into there. Joe Banger, this is actually a one-life event, as they're saying, run by Squad Ops. We open this up to the community, and yes, anybody can join as long as you complete our SOTT basic program. You can find out everything that you want to know by visiting squadops.gg. Those mortars going out. We'll see what happens after this. We'll see where they land. More yeah. shots coming in. Krusty the Sailor taking pot shots in the direction he got shot from. Oh, those mortars hit right on top of the building. Oh, very close to Teddish there. The mortar and placement. Just oh, you just saw the destructible sandbags there, too. That's crazy. Yeah. And these mortars cleverly defended inside this small fencing of small fencing of, of uh, shipping containers. Absolutely. Joe oh, Banger, yes. Man. Very tactical gameplay. Our guys try their best to make sure that they stay as realistic and authentic and intense as they can about it. Alright, here comes the push. They're pushing up into the building. Let's see what happens. Russia shoving in. Silverman goes down. Oh, Stray dog. No. Looks like Tedish up the stairs shooting. Oh, their medic Stray dog goes down. Tedish, Tedish goes, goes down. down. Yep. Pure paradise. Another one coming up on this corner. Yeah, Krusty Jack the Reynolds. Sailor is right beside him. I think so. Yeah. Oh, Jack Reynolds in his grenade. Oh. He bounces it. It hit good. Oh, boy. Let's see. Oh, the sandbag saves him. Yeah. If it had just been a little bit closer, that sandbag destruction would have meant that bag would be gone. Krusty yep. the Sailor just being saved. They're going to try to push the corner oh, now. Oh, that Pete Crust, you can see him. XM Pure Paradise shooting back at Jack Reynolds. Jack Reynolds takes a hit. He's bandaging. Nothing I can do about that. Just pushing up oh, on that corner. I can just imagine Ram's frustration being stuck on the roof, just feet away from contact here. He knows they're in there. Oh, man, good trades back and forth over here in the north building. Oh, everybody goes down. A grenade coming out at the end, taking him down. I think that was friendly. Yeah, unfortunately, he was just about to throw that grenade, and he got hit and drops down. Oh, unfortunate. They can hear local voice of the enemy. No, you cannot hear local voice of enemies in this one, sadly. It's like they're continuing to fortify here, sightless with Kapari on the radio location. I cannot imagine trying to assault a position like this. I can imagine it's just got to be very frustrating for them pushing corner by corner. 
So the Russians pushed in here and they took a lot of casualties. You can see four Russians down here. Looks like two Russians alive over here. And we've got the BTR, or is that the MTLB? Still rolling around over here. I think that that's is the, the MTLB. MTLB. Yeah, still rolling around, trying to put in some work. Now, the militia, how many do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six alive in the building. And do they have anybody outside the building? Yes, they do. They have yeah. at least one alive over here on the north side. Two. Yeah, they've got two alive. So that's eight militia left. So the Russians taken some heavy casualties, but they've still got vehicles on their side. And the militia also taking a lot of casualties, but they've got some decent flanking positions that might help them out. Yeah, and they have a lot of defenses on their side. That kind of evens the playing field. When is Fallujah being released? We have no more info than you, so we're not sure when that's coming. There's just a new map released today, though, and that was Narva. So we'll be checking that out soon, I'm sure. I'm very excited about it anyway. Yeah, they managed to release it just in time for us to put our op on that version. And yeah, we yeah. Hope to, hope to host a Narva op soon, too. Yep, we actually were lucky enough to stream one on Sunday. We got kind of an advanced peek at it. And we got to stream an op on Narva Sunday night. You can check our VODs if you want to check that out and see what we ran on that. It's pretty cool. Always a joker asking, is Karma Cut alive? No, I do not believe he is. He is not spoken for a long time, so that leads me to believe he is dead. Yeah, command comps have been super quiet on my side as well. With only eight guys left, they're consolidating in this building here. I believe Sightless. Uh, is Krusty the Sailor still up? I don't see him. Is he still? No, he died. He died. No, he was he in did. that corner. Yeah, they pushed in and, and managed to take him down. Now, it looks like the Russians have pulled out and are trying to do a flanking maneuver here. Trying to change their position. Yeah, press F to pay respects to Karma going down, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like. Sightless being the only original squad lead still alive. Yelling over local comms to try and get everybody <laughs> to him. Yeah, Krusty's definitely dead. We saw him get shot earlier. They pushed up in. So Jack Reynolds and his crew pushing around here. Just trying to get themselves into a decent flanking position, try to change their avenue of approach. And they're hoping that in doing that, they will be able to kind of get the enemy by surprise, get the militia by surprise by approaching very close. We'll see how this works out for them. I'm hopeful that this will actually change up the battlefield enough that they'll get kind of some advantages. But we've still got two Russians alive in here, and one of them's about to have a bad day if he pushes up here. We'll see what happens. Two guys down at the end of this hall. We'll see. He peeks the corner and he sees the legs. Yeah, Zoko and Turner here at the end. They don't even know Jax is running up on him. Oh, he takes out one. Turner, Turner trades, gets him down. All Zoko goes down, though. Yeah, Zoko got taken out first, but Turner got him back. And there's still one Russian alive here. Trying to suppress that Turner is taps. with that vehicle. The grenade comes out. It's down the hall. Too far away to do anything to Taps there. Taps might need to change up his position since they know he's here. Oh, but they're going to peek. They're going to peek. This is really intense. Just laying down there at the end of the hall. Turner, oh, Turner Taps goes him. down. Great work by Turner there. MTLB still suppressing, or that's the BTR actually, still yeah, suppressing BTR. on the north side, but Taps goes down. Yeah, no, so. not all the Vicks are down. There's a BTR here down, or there's a BTR here still alive. The MTLB is still alive over there as well. So The MTLB for the... 
militia went down, correct? Yes, it did. It's burning yeah, both MTLBs down. Yeah, the one over on the west side there and the one tucked in this corner here both went down. No, there's a BTR and an MTL. So the BTR rolling forward slowly while Jack Reynolds and his small crew that he took on a flanking operation are trying to push up. Yeah, pure paradise stranded over here by himself on this side of the building. Got eyes on my stairways. If he stands up, he could easily be killed by that BTR. Looks like he's gonna not risk it. He's saying, "I'm not standing up. I'm not even gonna try it." Yeah, I'll just you know, step probably up. a smart move for Paradise. I would think so. Magic Man, we switch sides after this round, so keep staying tuned. After we finish this round, we're gonna flip it around. Everybody's gonna go on to the other side, and we're gonna do this all again. New strats, new things. So we'll see what happens. How many people are in the server? Let's 70 see, 38 v. 38, so, yeah. 76 right now. Yeah, 76. Some shots coming in. Oh, one of Jack, two of Jack Reynolds' crew go down. Was that Shadow Ritual? No, it was Turner. Turner pushed in and killed two from that rooftop. Wow. Yeah, Turner up here on this rooftop took out these two guys here. Oh, yeah. I see still one alive. There. Yeah, Ram managed to get inside before Turner did did him in, too. Oh, oh, I spoke Turner too soon. Ram in. steps outside. Oh, he's, he didn't take a hit. Look like no, he took he's a hit okay inside. still. Joe Banger, do we have a public server that encourages teamwork? We have four public servers. <laughs> and we try to encourage as much teamwork as we possibly can on those. We have a whitelist. We've got another whitelist. We've got an INS. And we've got a low pop, high FPS server for people who want to run those. Oh, Turner's Actually, about to get one of the white. Fired. Oh, yeah. yep. Oh, Ram's looking the wrong way. Does Turner see him first? He Turner has to. see him first. Oh. Turner not on, looking Turner, in the right. Turner. There he goes. Nice. There he goes. Just so is that every... That... Is that all the infantry forces down for Russia? No, it looks... Maybe? I thought Jack oh, Reynolds nope, made one. it inside. He went down, sadly. Oh, he did. I'm not keeping up with the other side there, apparently. Big Jimmy HD pushing in as well. Oh, he's got Turner like he's... up above him. Yeah, he's pushing in right. He's hunting Turner. Here he goes. Oh, big Jimmy HD. Oh, <laughs> Turner. Turner doing work. MVP. Let's MVP see. What's Turner at? Player. I got to find him. Seven kills in a one life operation. Seven kills in a one life operation. Turner doing work. Loving it. Yeah. So cool breeze and game master me manning these two vehicles. I think they're the only ones left. That's it. These two vehicles are it. We might, uh, we might see, th see them hop out of those vehicles soon. They could use them to push up. They don't have any lats left here on the militia side. So they're just sitting here waiting. Ultimately, the objective here is that they have to take down that fob so they can't just sit in these vehicles all day. Cool Breeze yeah. getting out. Looks like I'm, I didn't see him do it, but maybe he's a regular rifleman. SM Pure Paradise might have used that new sandbag mechanic to give himself a little cover here. He was hurting for cover earlier. The lats, I'm pretty sure, are all dead at this point for the militia. Now, the thing is, Russians, their objective is that they have to push in and take down this fob. And we're pretty good about spurring them on. If they don't seem like they want to make the push, we will give them a time limit that they have to do it in. And then we'll kind of, you know, spur them on to get it done. Right now, it looks like they're using the vehicles to push up in and get as close as they can before they maybe make an infantry push. Turner yeah. still up on that north building. It looks like they did exactly, exactly that. They're using those vehicles to get themselves close, clear their immediate area. Oh. Frag grenade. round. Yeah, that was just a grenade, actually. Yeah. SM Pure Paradise just taunting them with explosives. 
Just says, hey, we'll throw some grenades at you if you just want to sit down there. <laughs> I love that they're just throwing grenades on it. <laughs> Shots coming in on this upper floor. We might need to spur these guys on. We'll see. The admins will make that call, though. Yeah. Oh, looks like Cool Breeze pushes in. He's coming. Cool Breeze coming upstairs. Game Master Me laying down fire, trying to distract. Maybe trying to mask the sound of Cool Breeze pushing in. That's what he's Smart. trying to do. Smart tactic. Oh, oh, but he's gonna walk into a death trap. That was it. Wow. Game Master Me, the only one alive now. Do either of the vehicles have explosive rounds? Negative. One is mounted with an NSVT and the other one has, I believe it's a, was it a PVK? Is that it? Something like that. No, that's a smaller caliber. That's a, some kind of, some kind of, I think it's a 50 caliber. Actually, yeah. that's hard to say. I think the P I think the BTR is actually mounted with the uh, PVKT. So, Game Master Me, round ends in one minute. He has to push in now, and that's what I said. Karma Cut, you can see they're putting out the message that the round ends in one minute. If it gets a little too long, we will basically spur them on, make them have to push in. Yep, Game Master Me looks like he's pushing. They throw a smoke on him. <laughs> we'll follow him in. This is intense. He knows he's the last one alive. He's scared. You can hear him breathing. He's... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, these are the situation I was talking about earlier. I've never been this last man alive. This situation's just got to be so tense. He has no chance of winning, but he can't know that. He might think it's a 1v1. Yeah, he has no clue how many guys are around still. <laughs> Follow him in here. See what yelling he sees. At Sightless yelling at Turner. Whoever you are coming in, just follow him in. Oh, Turner! <laughs> Could he get number eight? Turner! Blowing that sandbag and the yeah, barbed wire. Yeah, that was so cool. Up. Oh, sandbag. Not the sandbag. Couldn't Turner see coming spot. up the ramp behind him. Oh. Turner with the pistol. Going to try and end it all with a pistol. Here he comes. Oh, Game Master Me is going to peek the corner. Oh, maybe <laughs> he won't get a chance. Here we go. He's breathing heavy. Oh, no, oh, he's oh. shooting. Turner. And Turner gets him. him. <laughs> Turner. Eight kills. Eight kills, and he gets the last. The Turnerator. <laughs> the Turnerator. <laughs> There's that GG. That was a great there round. It is. And we are not even done. We're just at the halfway point. We're going to flip this around. Everybody's going to change teams. And we are going to come back and do it again. In the meantime, though, we're going to take ourselves a little break. Let everybody to go to the bathroom, get themselves a drink. We will be back after this little break with another round of Operation Arrowhead here on Squad Ops. Remember to check out squadops.gg if you want to sign up and be a part of these in the future. But we'll see you back in a few.